Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Explore and Engage with Anam. On February 15th, police in New York responded to a 911 call. Reportedly, there was a complaint about a man acting in a disorderly manner. And when police responded to that complaint, there was clash between police and a migrant. And that happened in Randall's Island at the migrant shelter. According to police, law enforcement officers tried to arrest the individual. Reportedly, people started throwing bottles at police officers. Reportedly, shelter residents also screamed at police officers. The man was eventually arrested and it's being reported that he was not a shelter resident. And reportedly there were lots of yelling and shouting. My friends, this is an example of lawlessness. This is the kind of chaos that adversely impacts the city of New York. There's ongoing crisis at the southern border of the United States. The migrants are pouring into our country. They are crossing the southern border. They are entering the United States without any visa, without any legal authorization. And as a result of the crisis at the southern border, we are seeing lots and lots of problems in many cities and states across the country. And in a place like New York City, which is a sanctuary city, the, the chaos seems to be growing worse. My friends, migrants who cross the southern border and enter the United States, they come here and they expect free stuff. They live in shelters paid for by American taxpayers. And then we hear about clashes and confrontations. My friends, it seems to me from this report and other reports that I've read in the past that many migrants don't seem to respect law enforcement. And that's leading to the erosion of rule of, of the erosion of the rule of law in this country. The rule of law in this country is being eroded. My friends, around 3,000 people are staying at the Randall's Island site, according to Mayor Eric Adams. This is what Mayor Eric Adams said. He said that anytime you have 3,000 people who are placed in an environment that they cannot work, they have to sit around all day, things like this have the potential to happen. What does that even mean? I, I, I read that comment, that those words from Mayor Eric Adams, and I'm thinking, what does that even mean? So Mayor Adams admits that the migrants are sitting around all day at a shelter, which means that, that they are sitting there using up taxpayer resources. That's what's happening. Who pays for the shelter? The migrants are staying at, uh, at the shelter. Who pays for the shelter? The taxpayers, the American taxpayers. And when things go wrong, if there's a clash, if there's a problem, if it, and, and when police officers have to respond, who pays for the police officers? Who, who pays for police services? The taxpayers. So our dollars, the tax, taxpayers' dollars are being spent on the migrants. Migrants are staying at shelters paid for by American taxpayers. They're, they're receiving services paid for by American taxpayers. And when things go wrong and law enforcement officers have to respond, who, who funds law enforcement services? The American taxpayers. And, and the question is, why are 3,000 migrants staying at Randall's Island? Why are they there? Why are they even there? Why are there 3,000 people in that shelter? 
Why can't the city of New York leaders say that the city will no longer be a sanctuary city? Why can't the city leaders remove that sanctuary city label? These individuals, these migrants, they should not be in this country. That's the bottom line. These migrants should not be in the United States. There's a proper process if somebody wants to come to the United States as an immigrant, there's a proper process. Simply crossing the southern border and entering our country, that's not the proper process. The proper process includes paperwork. It includes background checks. It includes lots of procedures and, and you know, going through the legal channel. There's a proper immigration pathway. But what we are witnessing, what we have been seeing since 2021, is that people just cross the southern border and enter the United States and they expect taxpayer-funded services. The foreign nationals are crossing the southern border, they are coming into the United States and they are expecting free housing, free food, free medical services and, and lots of other services paid for by American taxpayers. My friends, what I just told you, this, this incident that happened um, at the shelter in Randall, Randall's Island, this is just another example of problems caused because of illegal immigration. And who's suffering because of all of this? The American people. And that's why I keep saying that it is time to secure the southern border and it is time to stop the influx of illegal immigrants. Secure the southern border and stop the influx of illegal immigrants. Since 2021, millions and millions of foreign nationals have entered the United States illegally. And the crisis seems to be getting worse every single day. We must secure the southern border and we must stop the influx of illegal immigrants. Thank you for continuing to listen to my podcast. Please reach out to me with questions, comments, share with me your thoughts. You can go to my website, tossifanam.net. You can also send me an email. My email address is tossif at tossifanam.net. You can find me on social media. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. Please get in touch with me. Let me know your thoughts. And once again, thank you for continuing to listen to my podcast. I hope to be back again soon with a new episode of Explore and Engage with Anam.